everything we use, everything around us, comes from a material that's already on Earth. And there's a process of getting that material, extracting it, and then turning it into something that we can then work with to make our products. So let's talk about that. Right, so to teach you guys about um, life cycle assessment, the answer is actually in my son's room. Okay, it's not actually as messy as I thought, but as you can probably tell from the room decor, the answer is here and it is on Minecraft. So as you know, wood comes from trees and so you have to cut down those trees and what you'll be left with is just cut down logs, but they then need to be treated. So we actually need to dry them out and start to okay. Other materials then are sand, so sand is used for making glass, and we'll show you that in a little while. Just get some sand here. And also, rocks are then mined, and that gives us fossil fuels in the forms of coal, which we're going to talk about later on. But also, um, metals. So lots of different metals come from under the ground where we mine them. Out. So let's go find some metal. Okay, so obviously in Minecraft it's not quite real life, but in real life there are lots of different types of metal, ranging from um, iron, we get ores for aluminium out of clay, um, and there's, there's just lots of different types, but essentially most metals are mined, and they come in this raw form, uh, such as ore. So there we go, got myself some uh, metal there. Now the clear thing here, is that all material comes from Earth. However, we can't just take that as it is and then just make things. It has to go through a middle stage and that's, that's the important bit, that's the bit that we need to talk about. Okay, so this whole thing is about stock forms. And stock forms are really important because stock forms are what allow us to actually take those products then make them into something. If you just chop down a tree, you wouldn't carve it into a, um, a just a piece of furniture. It would take lots of trees are then carved and um, they're put through a process that turned into planks or sheets or mouldings. And that's so that we can then transport them easier, hence why they're called stock forms, and so that we can manufacture things out of them easier. And there's all different types of wood because different types of trees give different types of wood and it all has different properties, different colours, different um, strengths. And so we turn them into these kind of stock forms. And you can see that in Minecraft. You can take one tree and then you can turn it into several planks. And then from those planks, you can then create other stock forms. You can create sticks or um, trapdoors. Now that's in Minecraft. But in real life, it's not too dissimilar. We, we can't just take these products out of the earth and then turn them into things that we use. They have to go through this processing stage first. For example, um, those ores that we mined out of the ground, they are melted down, they're smelted, and then they're processed into a workable form, such as a bar. So um, at school, this is what it looks like. I'll just stick a video up here. So here's some pewter, it's in a pewter bar. And then as you can see, Mr. O'Shea is melting that down. And then that is in its liquid form. We can then pour that into something. Okay. Also glass. So glass actually comes from sand. And sand is just collections of tiny rocks and seashells and organic matter that's been ground down over time. Hello, what's that? That doesn't happen in real life. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that doesn't happen in real life. Anyway, let's move on. So you melt sand down and it becomes this glass. And then glass is actually in stock forms. You can buy it in pellets or sheets or um, molds again. And you can then turn that into other things. So they quite often people who make things out of glass, they buy it in little granules and then they melt it down. Right, so stock forms. Um, everything on earth comes from a material. It's then processed into a form that is easier for us to then turn into products. Okay, right, hopefully you've learned everything you need. All right, okay, so now you've got a better idea of stock forms and where materials come from, I want you to complete the activity booklet that will explore some of those raw materials and the stock forms that they can be found in. Okay, so that's your task and uh, good luck with it.